The statutory language contains two obligations which are clearly aimed at copyright. Um, one uh, is uh, a general obligation to implement a copyright policy. And as an example of this copyright policy that model providers have to put in place, the Act mentions a policy to respect uh, opt-outs of right holders from the data mining. So that is uh, the most explicit connection between copyright and the AI Act because a EU directive, uh, the directive of 2019 on copyright in the digital single market, contains a provision according to which a text and data mining is lawful even without the authorization of right holders whose works are mined. However, if that mining is done for commercial purposes, right holders can opt out of that mining. Um, and um, the AI Act now establishes an obligation for AI model providers to um, uh, program their bots, their crawlers who crawl the internet uh, to uh, collect data for the training of the AI to program these bots in a manner that the opt-out of copyright holders is respected. So um, the provision is kind of a prohibition to circumvent such uh, uh, robot ex exclusion protocols or similar uh, technical measures to prevent mining. Yeah? Uh, and the idea behind this is uh, at the end of the day to allow right holders to uh, authorize or not uh, the mining of their content for the AI training and potentially also monetize their content. And I understand that this already uh, takes place. So there's a market for AI uh, training data, uh, which is based on these copyright rules in connection with the AI Act. Uh, but the AI Act goes beyond this in that it generally says uh, you have to put in place a copyright policy. And it is unclear at the moment what this uh, includes. In my article, I uh, indicate that one potential consequence of this rule might be a kind of moderation obligation. So that you have to make sure that not only the training was copyright compliant, but also the output, the eventual output is copyright compliant. But then you enter a kind of paradox because who can control the output of an AI? My understanding is that uh, this is controlled by the provider of the AI system. So the chatbot, uh, the, you know, the, the more concrete AI that generates the output. But that actor might be separate uh, from the model provider. And if that is the case, and, you know, it's not vertically integrated, the whole AI um, industry, um, it might become uh, difficult for the AI model provider to moderate the output of systems that another company has built on the basis of the model. So there I see a potential problem in the uh, implementation of these copyright Mm, obligations. And then uh, you have the third obligation, uh, which is mentioned in the Act, which is the training uh, content summary that has to be provided. This was originally the first idea of the European Parliament, uh, then addressed to foundation models, uh, in order to enable the right holders to find out, well, has my database been covered? What has been mine? Yeah. Uh, and this is the idea of, of, of the obligation to uh, also publish this summary. The summary uh, need not be uh, granular so that you mention each and every URL that you have mined, uh, but uh, it suffices to describe the content in a narrative way. So what kind of databases have you searched or crawled? Was it the open internet or any specific uh, databases? And that, again, is a tool to enable right holders uh, to figure out whether they were mined and 
perhaps uh, whether their preventive measures were circumvented and then you could potentially uh, also sue for copyright infringement. 